Welcome fellow anglers uh, to a beautiful Ozark January winter day. Uh, not too cold, uh, it's a little windy outside, but that's the nature of fishing this time of year. I really want to talk about uh, the flat-sided crankbaits made by Ichikawa uh, and why the flat-sided I'm fixing to explain. This time of year when the water is January and February and maybe early March in some places, the water temperatures in the 42, 40, mid 40s, uh, and you've got to really slow everything down and you've got to get it down to the bottom and yet once it gets to the bottom you have to, I have a, a really a unique way that I like to work it. Now I want to point out I'm really talking about semi-colored water to off-colored water. I'm not talking about crystal clear. Uh, but then that's of course that's my favorite type of water to fish. So I will have different depths in these flat-sided crankbaits because in the semi-clear water, just a little bit of color, the fish won't move quite as shallow. So you want to get down that six to eight foot zone. But once I get down there, here's the real key. It's when I get down to the bottom and it starts to hit the bottom, then I really slow it down, even stop it. And it just bumps through the rocks, bumps through the, the cover down there, and it stops. And then even I'll even pause it, much like you think in terms of a jerkbait, where you pause it and how long you leave it sitting still, you have to determine. Sometimes it can be a fairly significant time. And then I'll start moving it again. Uh, I will even use what I call a, the old spoonbill revel technique where I get it down the bottom, then I sweep it and just, and then you stop it. Then you sweep it maybe three or four more feet and you stop it, much like you would, again, a jerkbait. But that's really the key to getting bites this time of year in that cold water. Now, if the water is even more off color, I will go to the, the, uh, the shorter bill in the Ichikawa RC uh, flat shad. And... Uh, it, it, and re, because even when that water's off color, I, even though it's cold, the only thing that gets warm now is when the sun comes out is that even if they, they can move up in one, two, three, four foot depths. And this is where I want to get down, but I don't want quite the, as deep as the deep diver. Doing the same technique again, hitting the rocks, slow down, and sweeping it at times. Uh, again, one of my real secrets, and I keep saying a secret even I talk about it all the time, this time of year because it's kind of contradictory to we start thinking about big fish this time of year we start thinking the cold water is when we're going to hit they you know we're going to catch those bigger fish and uh the uh and it's the little md45 ichikawa it, it mimics a baits i've been small baits i've been fishing my whole life my first classic was a little honeybee when i caught 75 percent of my fish and uh and this is the other time of year that this works. That classic was fall. But fall and this time of year is when this little bait can really produce for you. How do I use it? I use it when I go in an area this time of year, January, February, the water's cold. And I know they live here, but I can't get them to bite the traditional baits. Can't get them to bite the jerk baits. I can't get them to bite the spinner baits or the bigger crank baits. So, but what I've learned over time, I'll turn around and tie on this little bait and it will show me if they're if they still are there because they will bite this and and again i'm fishing it in off color water most of the time and uh will i fish it throughout the the, the tournament not necessarily because this bait even sometimes i will if this bite stays tough but this bait is one of the best baits this time of year to show me if the fish live there